Let's go over how to customize the hosted website's header and adjust fonts and colors. First, go to Settings. Then, go to Hosted Website. Select your website. And over here, you'll see Header Layout and Fonts and Colors. Let's go ahead and look under Header Layout. Here we see we can adjust the desktop, tablet, and phone layout for our website. We can also pick a new template here you have three options. Each of these have predefined header layouts. You can click on the eye icon to see a preview of what it will look like. If you'd like to select one to use for your hosted website, click Use Mountain Lodging, then click Save, then hit Yes Apply It. Now if we go take a look at our hosted website, we'll see it has adjusted the header for that preset header layout. If you want to select a different theme to see how it changes your website, head back into Onores, go back under header layout, click pick a new template, and now let's select comic bands. Now click save, and guess apply it. We'll go ahead and click our hosted website, and here we see it has updated the header with the new layout. All of this is customizable. If we'd like to change what the header looks like, simply go back to Onores, then go to Header Layout, then let's select Desktop. Here we see there are two lines of boxes. Each box you can click in and set what you want for that box. Currently, we have Logo, but you can change this to Links and Text or a Website Menu. For example, Let's say you don't have a YouTube channel. You wouldn't want this to show up on your website, so simply click the trash icon, and this will remove it from the header. Once you do that, click Save, and then Save again. Now if we go back to our hosted website and refresh, we'll see that icon is gone. For all social media buttons, you set the account in your profile on Onores. Click on your profile, click Profile, then scroll down and you'll see different social networks that you can add. You can add Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. All you need to do is add your social media link here, then click Save. Let's head back to the website options. In this box, we see a call and an email button. Here you see it brings in the phone number that you set in your profile along with the email you set in your profile. You can choose what icon you want in this box and you can choose the text. Each line inside these boxes includes a type, action, icon, and text and they can be moved around in whatever order you like. Let's go ahead and add another box. Here you can select link, button, or text only. Let's go ahead and set text only, and we'll just say click here. Now we'll go ahead and click save, and then click save again to apply the changes. Now if we go back to our hosted website and refresh the page, we'll see there's text next to book now that says click here. If we want to move click here in front of book now, we can go back to our settings, click into the box, then drag this box above Book Now, click Save Selection, then hit Save to apply the changes. Let's go back to the website and refresh. And here we see Click Here is now in front of Book Now. This works the same way with the social media links. Let's head back to Onores, click into the social media links, and let's move Twitter in front of Instagram. Now click Save Selection then save. We'll head back to the hosted website and refresh and now we see the social media links are in the order we have set. We can also rearrange the header rows. If we rather have the website menu above our links and logo we can pull the logo and links bar down then click save. Let's head to our website and refresh and now we see they have flipped. Next to each row is an action button. 
You can change the style and remove the line completely. Let's go ahead and change the style of this one. Here we see you can pick a color, a background color, how much padding it has, the font size, and the scroll behavior. If we wanted this to stick to the top instead of hide when we scroll, we can select this and click save. Then save again. Now when we head back to our website and click reload, when we scroll down, that row stays on top, but the second row does not. If we'd want both rows to stay on top, simply go back to owner res, click on the action button for that row, click change style, then select stick to top. There's also the option of adding a drop shadow. This renders a shadow beneath the line to provide three dimensional depth. Let's go ahead and select that. Then click save and then save again. Now if we head back to the website and refresh and scroll down, we'll see that they both stay on top and there's a drop shadow now. Now that we've made these changes, but you decide you like the way the links and logo look above the website menu, simply click and drag and click save. Now if we go back to the website and reload, we'll see that they have been flipped back to the way they were. But now there's a drop shadow. If we want to get rid of that, simply go back, click the action button, change style, and take off drop shadow. Let's say we want the text to be a different color as well. You can click into this color and select any colors you want, or you can select ones from down here. Let's go ahead and click this one and click save style. Then click save again, then go back to the website reload, and now we'll see all the text has changed to the light blue color. You can change colors for each row if you'd like, or you can change the colors universally by going back to owner res, then click cancel, then go to fonts and colors, and here we see the primary color, the heading color, and the muted text color. If we want this color to be something else, like the same light blue, we can click that. We can also change the font. Currently, it's set to quicksand, but if we wanted it something else like Arial, we can select that. Now if we go down to the bottom, and click save and close, then go to our hosted website and click refresh, we'll see all the text has changed to Arial and the buttons have been changed to the same light blue color. If you decide you want to pick a different template, you can still go back and select a different one. Your website will automatically change to meet the parameters of that template. Let's go ahead and reload the page now. Now we see the website header looks a lot different. The colors are different and the header layout is different. Here we see some of our text is being overlapped with our logo. We can fix that by going back to owner res, go to header layout, then desktop, and now we see that the website menu is right next to the logo. If we rather have the website menu above the logo and contact link, we can make another line, then drag this line down, then click the center box, set the type to website menu, then click save selection. Now we'll want to remove the website menu from this box. Simply click clear selection. Now let's click save and close. Let's go back to our website and hit reload. Now that looks a lot better. When we scroll down, we'll see that this template automatically has the link and logo line to automatically stay at the top with the drop shadow, but we still want the website menu to stay on top as well. Simply go back to owner res, header layout, desktop, then select the action button change style, and select stick to top of window, then click save, then save and close. Now if we go to our website and click reload, we'll see the website menu sticks to the top as well. If we go back to fonts and colors, we'll see that the color was automatically changed when we switch templates. If we'd like to switch it back to the other light blue color, we can select that, 
Then go down and click Save and Close. Now if we go back to the website and reload, we'll see that all the text has changed to the same light blue color. It's important to note, you can have a different header layout for desktop, tablet, and phone. If we go and look at the phone layout, we'll see it's set originally how we had it when we first changed the template. If we go back to the desktop, we'll see it looks like this. Your website will automatically adjust the layout depending on the size of your screen. If we take a look at our website in mobile view, we'll see the header looks a lot different. We have a drop down menu here where you can see all the website menu items. We also have a book now button and our logo is on the right. That is how you customize your website header along with changing fonts and colors.